Today has been crazy. I'm going all over the dang place. So I left Portland this morning at my normal time, around 11. It was kind of gloomy when I left, but when I got to Eastern Oregon slash Eastern Washington down the gorge, it was beautiful and it was kind of warm actually, which I was a little bit surprised of. I had layered up because I thought that was going to be really cold. But the weather turned out to be really awesome. I rode down the Washington side of the gorge and then crossed the bridge of Umatilla, and then went through Hermiston for the first time. That town is a lot bigger than I thought that it was going to be. I think it's really funny that I have driven past Hermiston, like from Umatilla straight towards Lewiston on Highway 12, but I've never been to Hermiston. So that was cool. Getting to see a new place was awesome. I stopped at the Safeway there so I could get vegetables so I could make dinner, which I'm super excited about. I'm sort of just excited to share with you guys as long as I don't lose all of the light. <laughs> I rode through Pendleton for the first time. I'd never been to Pendleton. That was exciting. I was supposed to camp on the other side of the Umatilla National Forest, actually, the side that's closer to Pendleton. And when I got up to where my campground was supposed to be, there was still snow on the roads. I was hoping that the elevation was low enough that there wouldn't still be snow up here, but there is. So I drove all the way through the Umatilla National Forest, um, kind of resigning myself that I might have to get a hotel, which I don't really have a lot of money for right now. I found this extra forest service road off of the east side of the Umatilla National Forest and crept back in this way and I found this awesome little stealth spot. So I can't be seen from the road, so that is a good thing. It also looks like loggers camp here, um, so I think that I'm going to be okay. Anyway, Let's make dinner because I am hungry. I have exciting news for you guys. I found a job and I'm supposed to start training May 4th. So this trip home is kind of like a reset for me before I start my new job, which I'm excited about. Everybody there seems to be really happy. <laughs> this sounds horrible. But they just seem to really enjoy being there and they enjoy the work that they do, which I'm excited to be around. Not that people weren't happy at my last job, it's just, it's hard to stay positive when other people around you are kind of negative. You probably saw in the Cabder series that I bent the heck out of my favorite pot that I've had for, since the pilgrimage. I've had that pot since the pilgrimage. So I'm trying out this new thing. It's firing, a frying pan and a plate and a little pot. I don't know. We're gonna try it out. It does take up a little bit less space than my other pot, so it's worth a shot, I guess. Tonight we are making tuna and rice and vegetables. The grape tomatoes like in the plastic containers are really great because that means they can't quite as easily be squashed in saddlebags. <laughs> Put a little olive oil 